become a slave to the way they are preaching prosperity gospel in your generation. Don't become a slave to your desire for success that it kills your love for God. Kills your hunger for his presence. Hey, you can cry because you don't have money and you don't have strength. But when last did you weep because you could no longer pray? Lord, before my prayer life dies, call me. Don't let me be alive and still be living and I'm living with a dead prayer life. Hello dear Transform Believers and welcome to Transform Daily YouTube channel. Today on the channel we are going to be having a powerful, impactful message by God's servant Reverend Kesiana Esiri that will spoil your hunger for God if you are struggling in your spiritual life, if your hunger, your zeal, your desire for God is dying, if you have been praying without answers this video is for you if you had any reason to grow cold this season in your prayer life and in your spiritual hunger this video will spark up such a fire and a desire and a hunger for god in you watch and be blessed in jesus name amen this is jesus i can take many things for granted in the scripture but not the things that jesus himself said look at it he says everyone somebody say everyone what is the meaning of everyone? They don't, don't need to think about Greek. Everyone is everyone. Everyone who asks, receives. He who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks. The question is, why don't we experience this? Why? Why does it look as if we have to keep, you know, you just, you just have to keep going, 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 and there is no time in your life that you can hold something and say, this is the end of my asking. Prayer is not designed to be frustrating. Prayer is supposed to be so rewarding. There's supposed to be joy in your prayer. And what is that joy? That when you ask, you receive. It's part of the way that God encourages you to be a creature of prayer. You know that when you knock, the door is open. I knocked two years ago and God opened the door. When you want to start knocking now, that one will be a marker in the spirit. So if it's taking two years, you say, I knocked in January 2025, 2015, and God answered me. It may look like it's tough now, but he that opened that door, he will open this one. Because every time God gives you a testimony, it's a parable that he can do it again. Every time. Every time. But the question is, how come we don't enjoy this? People are asking. They are not receiving. They are, they are seeking. They are not finding. They are knocking. It seems as if any time your name appears that you are the one knocking. It just seems as if the door, they will put 62 padlock. That it never opens to you. Never. You've been born again for years and there's nothing you can hold to say. See it. This is the proof of my enterprise in prayer. Bro, prayer is not to come and do gay, 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 gay every week. The end of prayer is the ear of God. That's the end of prayer. So we don't say that we have prayed because we prayed long. The proof that you prayed is that God heard. You got to his ear. And the proof that you got to his ear is that he will release something from his realm in your direction. Oh, don't, don't be angry with me. I'm just teaching scriptures. This is our confidence. That when we pray, he does what? And if he hears us, then we receive of him that which we have asked. It's scripture. The proof that he has heard is that you will receive something. It's just like we were praying when we started just now. Nobody planned it. Nobody. I'm not sure whether Stella had those songs in her heart before she started singing. I don't know. But when I sat there, 
I began to notice there was a shift in the atmosphere. Windows and doors were just open. And I realized that this is an opportunity. You know when you sing song in church, you are just singing because you are excited. Some of us, when we are singing, we are, we are prophesying. Some of us, when we are singing, we are crying. It's a cry. The song is just helping us so that tears won't fall from our eyes. Do you know the depth of that song? I came by prayer. <laughs> I will stay in prayer. And when it's time to go, I will go on the wings of prayer. You, 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 you want to die. Me, I want to change location. Yes. And the way that kind of thing happens, the Bible says that when Jesus prayed, his countenance was altered. There was a shifting of shape. It's because you didn't understand. That's why you were just singing, I will pray. I will pray. You were, you were, you were tickling your emotions. Some of us were crying. Some of us were weeping in our soul. Lord, before my prayer life dies, call me. Don't let me be alive and still be living and I'm living with a dead prayer life. How, how, how do you survive? How do, how do you survive without prayer? How, how? How? How do you make it? How are you able to navigate your death? That's why you are confused. That's why you are falling in love. See, throughout 2022, you fell in love 82 times until we need a doctor for you now. Doctor. 82 times. And all these times you fell in love, you said, God said. Your emotions are like a porous basket that Satan can put rotten tomatoes. Put meat that has maggot. Pork with ringworm. Anything is attracted to your spirit. Because the altars that God has granted that man and the divine immortal spirit can do business, you have left it to break down. You can cry because you don't have money and you don't have strength. But when last did you weep because you could no longer pray? Bro, don't become a slave to the way they are preaching prosperity gospel in your generation. Don't become a slave to your desire for success that it kills your love for God, kills your hunger for His presence. Hey, I was with one, my son, and he was asking me a question. We, we went for a ministration somewhere, and he, he was saying to me, He said, Kai, you need to teach me, Daddy, how you do this thing. How do you do it? You will just be teaching. And then by the time you switch to prayer, the atmosphere will change. Oh, you see me? I can't live without it. It's the only way I know. I came by prayer. <laughs> I will stay praying. When it even looks like it's not working, there's a guarantee. Everyone who asks. You know why? The ones who are asking, they are asking in a divine economy. And we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Holy Spirit make it intercession. This is how it works. You are in partnership with the Holy Ghost. But you are in the divine economy that is called Christ. So you come to pray sometimes and your flesh is weak. But the Holy Ghost begins to make intercession for you with groanings that cannot be uttered. He begins to quicken you. You start by just saying, Kabelo, fire. Then all of a sudden, a fire begins to rage. It's not you that ignited it. You have just learned how to maximize grace. For it's not of him that wins. It's not of him that runs. But it's of the Lord that showed mercy. It's not by power. It's not by might. But it's by my spirit. Go further. Go further. Go further there. Go to verse 13 now. I want to give us some time to pray. This is how God wants this service. I thought I would have like an hour, 40 minutes to teach, but let's see. If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children. He now started telling us here that 
all these things he was saying before is not for everybody oh. because when you read everyone you now say everyone but he now had to put it in context he had to situate it in the right context he now said if you then being evil know how to give good gifts to who it's not to your neighbor's family this is a family matter why because you are in what divine economy somebody say i'm in divine economy everything god has spoken concerning me is mine by inheritance i touch it i receive it i live it i become it shout aloud amen how much more will your heavenly father not give you christ because christ is made manifest as the wisdom and the power of god christ is already the platform but for you to function in this platform you need a software hey have you bought a laptop before when you buy a new laptop the maximum you will get is that microsoft um, um what is it called now microsoft word microsoft um, office that's it thank you microsoft office they will give you a trial version maybe it will last for one month thereafter you need to go and buy the original software so that it can run properly because it's possible you will have laptop and no software you can't use it to do anything so he said he will give you the software how much more will the heavenly father give the holy spirit to who those that ask so dear brother the reason many people think that their prayer lives are frustrating is that they are thinking that the only way to validate their experience in prayer is in material things but there's a greater reward than the material if every time you pray you can receive of the holy ghost that prayer journey has been fruitful what do we receive of the holy ghost we receive wisdom sometimes you are praying for money what god will give you is what wisdom sometimes you are praying lord save me from this matter he will not come and bring you out what he will give you is strength to survive it but when you receive it because it's not material you do not know that prayer has been successful you just find yourself surviving what killed other people you think is by your strength how much more shall he give the holy spirit to them that ask him that's how we survive persecution that's how we ride above temptation everybody else in your lineage fell to the immorality that is in your bloodline but you since you got born again every time you lie before god and say god help me it looks like nothing happened but how much more shall your heavenly father give the holy spirit to them that ask him so every time i lie down and i'm praying the most important thing i'm asking for is holy ghost will you not help me i'm not wise as the world called with you know me no no book oh eh? Kesena is Siri, no, no book. If you had told me many years ago that I'll be in lecturing, I'll for laugh you. Eh? I don't like reading those kind the kind of books I like reading is on prayer, on loving God, on consecration. But when you tell me to read academic books, it's punishment. Some of you are scholars. I'm not a scholar. Nothing I know. I don't know anything. Eh? But I'm not wise as the world calls wisdom. But when I'm in a difficult situation and I don't know what to do, when I begin to pray, how much more shall your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit? He will come to make you wise. He will come to give you bread. He will come to re reorganize your life in such a way that by the time they are telling your story, it will be obvious. They will say he is what he is by the grace of God sit down men of God by the grace of God brethren as the next half of the year is about to begin prioritize your relationship with the Holy Ghost I beg you in God's name prayer does not have to be boring 
there is one that can activate activate strength in your vessel he can open ancient scrolls the bible calls him an ancient spirit that he can search even the deep things of god the holy ghost how long are you going to keep trying to do life by yourself you are in christ but you've not learned how to live by the aid of the holy ghost don't struggle with bible study there's one that can give you desire so the way the holy spirit begins to walk upon us is in threefold the first thing that he begins to touch if you will maximize grace the first thing the holy spirit begins to touch is your desire your desire he walks on your longings he walks on your cravings he walks on your appetites ah i know what don't let anything kill your desire for god huh. hey hey help me daddy help me now bro don't lose hey yeah 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 i don't know the words to use i was telling you during the 10 hours it's not easy to restore spiritual fire hmm. oh holy ghost help me spiritual fire is the easiest thing to quench it will just die eh? it will just die you that used to you can't leave your house without reading four chapters of the bible you will just find out that it has died and you know the funny thing about spiritual fire nobody will know that it has died eh? you will still be looking like you are you are you are like sliced bread not knowing that you have become pop off you are like bones you have lost the very thing that makes you attractive you are finished nobody will know to philosophy sunday has a song he said where did my hunger go what happened to my thirst though i still speak in tongues and minister before men yet my secret place is weary and dry the holy ghost is the one that keeps putting firewood in your fire putting firewood in your fire when you are discouraged is that voice of comfort that comes to whisper maybe me endure for a night okay then i'll keep going it may look like your mates have everything and you have nothing but he that has jesus jesus is a great treasure that's when the holy ghost will begin to remind you don't you know that man that found a great field and in that field there was a treasure inside the bible says he went and sold all that he had the holy ghost will begin to tell you you may not have money but you have me you have me those are the times that you will be praying tears will be oh man satan will think you are crying because he's afflicting you he will not know that you are crying the cry of a warrior warriors weep too but they do not faint in battle yes they don't faint they weep but they fight they know they are not permitted to fall until the war is finished nothing nothing that's how you maximize grace you keep your desire raging you keep it raging if your work with god is true dear brother that desire is supposed to be increasing on a daily basis mavis desire is not supposed to meet you the way he found you yesterday when desire takes over you like an armed man you will find that it grows it grows it burns when you try to explain it to people you don't have the words because it's not a fire that you lit by your emotions it's a fire that the holy ghost put within your heart that's what jeremiah meant when he said i want to close my mouth but your words are like fire shut up in my bones my brother that's why some of these people could die for jesus 
their desire to see God was greater than their desire to live. So if you were threatening them that you want to take life away from them, they laughed. You were doing them a favor. You kill me quickly, I go home quickly. For to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So you couldn't threaten them with death. Because there was a hunger greater than the things of this realm. Some of you now, you can't recognize yourself anymore. You were not like this before. You can't recognize yourself again. Dry. Empty. You used to pass by sinners and you would go home and lie down. You didn't care about beans or rice, about the quality of your shoe or your dress. But now, you can't, you can't, you, 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 you are overwhelmed because one of your, your classmates that you graduated to get together got a job and traveled abroad. And now, you have begun to measure yourself with the wrong indices. There's nothing wrong with getting a job and traveling abroad. Remember, in this race, your competition is not your brother. I need to ask a young lady tonight. There's a particular young lady I'm speaking to here. Where did your hunger go? Huh? What happened to your thirst? What happened to you? How did you become this thing that you are looking like now? How did you become it? How? What were you doing that Satan crept in almost unnoticed and stole the most important thing in your life? How? The second platform through which the Holy Ghost begins to enact government and give you the opportunity to mass my grace is something called devotion devotion man of God everything Satan is doing now is to fight our devotion believe it or not he wants you to lose your love and loyalty for God because devotion is measured in love and loyalty My generation loves movies more than they love God. Do you know that you are raising a generation that even loves church activity more than they love private devotion to God? Our love and our loyalty for God, God! What we call devotion now is to wake up in the morning and do morning devotion. Read Bible and pray with your family. Devotion is not a time space in your day. Devotion is in how you live on a daily basis. Your love and your loyalty to God. Bro, what happened to your devotion? It is true the Holy Ghost will begin to maximize grace. And I show you a key. A man who is taught the ways of devotion by the Holy Spirit will live above sin. The reason you are plagued with sin is you don't know the way of devotion. You are not loyal to Jesus. You don't love him more than you love pornography. You don't love him more than you love lying and stealing. When you learn the ways of devotion. Hi, Emmanuel, do you remember that when, when David sinned with Bathsheba? Did you read his prayer? Did you read his prayer? Say, cast me not away. From thy presence, O oh God, take not thy Holy Spirit. Did you read it? David realized that there were two critical things that had kept him on the pathway of fulfilling God's call on his life. One, the presence. Two, the Holy Spirit. Until my only gaze is you, Spirit keep brooding over me, till I look more like Until my only gaze is you, Spirit keep brooding over me till I look on by you. That's the 
prayer we are going to pray tonight. Teach me the way of devotion. Teach me. Teach me. I vow to God I will be loyal to you till I die. In the day I am faced with options, if I am ever going to choose the wrong thing, call me home. Wow, what a powerful message. What a powerful message. What a touching message. And welcome to the commentary section of this message. If everyone asks and receives according to Jesus, why is it that you have asked and you are not receiving? These are the highlights of today's teaching. Prayer is never designed to be frustrating. The joy of prayer is that whenever you ask, you receive. So there's an error when you are asking, seeking, and you are not finding, asking and you are not receiving, knocking and the door is not being opened. The end of prayer is the ear of God. That means every prayer is supposed to end by God hearing us. The Bible says that this is the confidence we have in Him. That whenever we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us. He will hear and then He will answer us. He also said, do not let your prayer life die. You need to fight for it like you fight for life itself. Yeah, because sometimes we, we, we don't fight for our spiritual life. We leave it to chance. Meanwhile, we allow every other thing. We fight for every other thing in our life. For relationships. We fight for our jobs. We fight for things we desire. And we don't fight for our spiritual life. He said, do not leave your spiritual life to chance. Allow the Holy Spirit to help your spiritual fire. That is not easy to restore fire when it is lost. Allow the Holy Spirit to help you. That you can lose your spiritual fire and nobody will know. You know, you can package yourself outside. You may be a minister, but you have lost your spiritual fire. You may be a singer, you must you, you have lost your spiritual fire. Every other person will not know, but you will really lose this thing and you are empty inside. And don't you, never mind. And when you when you realize this, you know the devil knows this too. So make sure that you restore your spiritual life. Make sure that the, you work with the Holy Spirit to restore your hunger with God. He also say warriors weep, but they do not faint in battle. Wow. That we should maximize grace by anchoring on the help of the Holy Spirit. Warriors weep, but they do not faint in battle. Oh my God. He said your desire for God must grow daily that it proves that that is the proof of your spiritual fire that was planted by the Holy Ghost. If you have lost your desire, then you are losing your hunger for God. You are losing your spiritual fire. You must desire God. You can't do it on your own. Desiring your, desiring to study your Bible, desiring to pray, desiring to fast. That you should not become a slave to your desire for success that you kill your fire for God. This is a powerful teaching. I hope it energizes you. I hope it strengthens you. Here at Transform Daily, we bring you messages that we strengthen you. God bless you. God's servant, Reverend Christiana Esiri. You are such a powerful man of God. I enjoyed every bit of this teaching and I know the Transform Believers also enjoyed it. I will see you when I post a next video. God bless you.